So uh, arms in, inhale, over your head, stretch out, and slowly go down, down to your toes, roll it down, try to get your hands flat on the mat, walk your feet back, to downward dog, and hold it, you can you know, bend your knees a little bit to stretch out those hamstrings, those calves, the back of your knee. Okay, go to a plank. Then roll into seal. Okay, stretch out those abs, lift your neck to the sky. And then go back into child's pose. Walk your hands to your left. Walk your hands to your right. Okay, put your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Curl that back, inhale. Squeeze through your abs, tuck those abs in. Then exhale. Look up, and one more time, inhale. Exhale. Okay, downward dog. Walk your hand, uh, your feet back to your hands. Hug your left and right elbow. And just twist side to side a little bit. Okay, put your right hand flat on the ground. <clears throat> Lift your left hand to the sky. Slightly bend your right knee, keep your left leg straight, and look up your hand. Look up to the sky. Okay, back down, switch, <clears throat> right hand to the sky. Keep your right leg straight, slightly bend your left. Look up towards your hand. Slowly roll up. Put your hands up. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to take a deep breath. Inhale. Stretch it out to the sky. Exhale, slowly roll down. Okay, put your right foot to the front of the mat, left foot back. Both hands in front. You should feel a stretch in the back of your right hamstring. If you want to rock a little bit, you can. Okay, now we're going to pivot our left foot out. Keep your right foot on the inside of your right hand. You're going to reach your left hand to the sky. Okay, 
Okay, bring your left hand to the inside of your right foot. Bring your right hand to the sky. You should feel a stretch in your IT band and the back of your right hamstring. Your right glutes. Bring it back down. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Drop your right foot back. Left foot in front. Okay, pivot your right toe out. Keep your left hand on the inside of your right foot. Reach your right hand to the sky. Okay, right hand on the inside of your right foot. Reach your left hand to the sky. Feel that stretch in, the, in your right glutes, right IT band, right, I mean left glutes, left IT band, left hamstrings. Okay, walk back to the front of your mat. Bend your knees, put your fingers underneath your toes. Okay, and then straighten them out. Bend your knees again. Straighten out those legs. One more time. Okay, now what you're gonna do is pull on your toes and feel that stretch in your, in your upper back. Feel a stretch in your neck. Pull on your hands, pull through your arms, pull through your shoulders. Feel that stretch in your upper back. You can bend your knees if you want. And slowly roll up through the spine, hands over your head. One more inhalation. Back down, sit down right here, hands in front. And you're gonna take your right elbow and stick it to the outside of your left knee. Switch, other side. Okay, stand up, slowly roll through the spine, inhale, exhale back down, walk your feet back, downward dog. Okay, down into a seal. Stretch out those abs. Look up to the sky. Back in a child's pose. Walk your hands to your left.
Walk your hands to your right. You should feel that stretch in your lats, your upper back, your neck, shoulders. Okay, go to a plank position. Okay, strengthen that core a little bit. You're going to keep your left hand on the ground, reach your right hand to the sky. If you need to modify it, you can stick your knee on the ground if you need to modify it. You want to keep your strength. Stay up, looking up towards your right hand. If you're getting tired, you can stick your knee down to modify it. That's fine. Reach that hand back. Feel that stretch in the chest. Open up that heart. Feel your abs. Let's go back down. Stay in that plank position. Other side, reach up to the left. Once again, if you modify it, you can stick your knee down or you can hold it. Okay, back to downward dog. Walk your hands to your toes. Roll up through the spine. Okay, now we're gonna walk our uh, left foot to the front of the mat. My mat's a little slippery. We go down, hang it down. If you need to go a little bit wider, you can. If you're flexible enough, you can hold on to your elbows. I'm not. Support yourself with your hands. If you need to slightly bend your knees, you can slightly bend your knees. Okay, walk your hands to your right toe. You can get there, go for it. You should feel the stretch in your, the back of your right hamstring right now. Now walk your hands to your left toe. My left is a little bit more flexible than my right. I also feel a stretch in the side of my, my left calf right here. Okay, now walk your hands, try to get them behind your heels if you can. I mean like, they don't have to touch your heels, but get them, if there's a line from heel to heel, Get your hands back there. You might have to sit back a little bit. Don't fall. Stretch, stretch out those hamstrings. Push through your heels. Tighten those hamstrings. Walk your hands to the front. Get them in front. Just work at different angles of stretching those hamstrings. Okay, now we're going to go on to our mat and do pigeon. Bring your right knee forward, left knee back, loosens up the IT band, loosens up the hip. So your chest is over your, knee, uh, over your knee, your back leg is trying to get straight, and your toe is pointing back. I feel a stretch in my left hip, we're loosening up the hip, I also feel a stretch in my right glutes and my right IT band. If you're flexible enough, you can go all the way down, go for it. Flexibility is not my strength. Can you bring your nose? Can you bring your nose to your knee or your forehead to your knee? Okay, now we're going to switch. We're going to bring our left leg forward, right leg back. Get that left IT band, left glutes. 
Once you feel comfortable, go on down to your left knee. Bring your nose or your forehead to your left knee. Okay, now we're going to sit up, stretch our glutes and our lower back. So cross your left leg underneath your right glutes, cross your right leg over your left knee, and hug that right leg. If you need to, I like to pull on my, my toes to kind of get that stretch to kind of crank down a little bit. But now we're getting that IT band, we're getting those glutes a little bit, we're getting that lower back. Now we're going to switch, put your right leg underneath your left glute, and then your left leg over your right knee. You need to hug that left leg a little bit, you can. So right now I'm putting my right hand on my knee to pull back to get those glutes. Now we're going to get our lower back. Cross your right leg over your left. Stick your left elbow behind your right knee and look backwards. Switch, cross your left leg over your right leg, stick your right elbow behind your left knee and look back. Okay, keep getting that back a little bit loose, we're going to hug both knees. Hug both knees. Okay, now rock and roll. If you're on a soft surface, rock and roll a little bit. Okay, let's go back to that IT band. Cross your right leg. Over your left knee, there's a couple variations. You can sit up and just stretch like this to get that IT band, or you can stick your right hand um, to the inside of your left leg and pull back on that left knee and stretch out that right IT band. Okay, let's do the other IT band. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. You can sit up in this position if you want. Or if you want to crank on a little bit more, lean back and pull. You can even get a little different stretch if you push your left hand on your left knee. You feel the stretch a little bit more. Okay, sit up, cross your legs. Try to rest your elbows on your knees. For some, for some of you, this might not be much of a stretch. For me, it is. <laughs> Keep your back upright, Keep your chest out, have good posture. Take a couple deep breaths. Relax. That was 20 minutes of stretching, yoga, whatever you call it. Makes my hamstrings feel loose. It's good for your lower back, good for the IT band, good for the glutes. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you.